Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. Finally, Federal Government shot Enugu Airport. The Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria FAN has finally agreed to shut down the Akano Abiam International Airport Enugu for major repairs. The closure of the runway will take effect from August 24th, according to a statement by the spokesperson of FAN, Mrs. Ereta Yakubu. Daily Trust reports that the federal government, through the immediate past Minister of State of, for Aviation, Senator Hadi Sirika, had said the closure of the runway was inevitable following some security concerns which pose threat to flight operations. Apart from the runway, which is in dilapidation condition, the proximity of a market to run the runway as well as a broadcasting mass is said to be posing challenges to safe operations. It was learned that the move to close the runway for extensive operations came after serious a series of consultations between FAN and Enugu State Government. FAN Managing Director Captain Hamisu Yadudu met several times with Governor Ogwanyi on finding workable solutions to the challenges facing the airport. FAN has now notified airlines, passengers, and all other stakeholders that runway will be closed for the major repairs and works on the airfield. The authority said the move is aimed at resolving the existing safety and security concerns to flight operations. A date to reopen the runway will be communicated in due course. Meanwhile, Nigeria's biggest carrier, Airpis, commended the federal government for the decision to close the airport in order to allow a proper repair and maintenance of the airport runway, which has given us serious safety concerns. Chairman and CEO of the airline, Mr. Allen Oyema, said the carrier fully supports the decision. Yeah, this is a, uh, a good news. Uh, uh, it's good that they are taking you know uh, uh necessary actions when it needs to be taken so that it will not cause casualties or it won't cause a lot of uh, uh problem at the end of the day so it's, it's a good thing let them do it on time and but they only talked about a uh, when it's going to be shut down but they have not even talked about when it's going to be reopened i think they have to have known all of this is when and when it's going to what time is going to take so that people will really have a okay they will uh, fix their mind that okay, at also so period of time. That is why we are going to, uh, you know, go through some uh, inches. But at so so point in time, it will be reopened. But it's not like that in this case. I think all all of those would have been put into consideration. But first and foremost, it's a good thing since they are saying it's for security and safety, uh, a uh, reason. So let them do it on time, and they shouldn't just leave it, uh, you know, to be there forever. They would have blown the calculations and know what is going to come in and know the time frame so that everybody will, will fix their mind on when it's going to be reopened. But as it is now, it's just like an open window, it can take any time. So, but for the day, it's going to be closed. They've already mentioned the dates. So, let's keep a uh, off finger crossed. Let's see what is going to happen. But some people don't even believe it. You know, when government is doing some things, people don't really, people always see the other side of it that is it's beyond what they are talking about because of what has really happened in the past. You don't, you can't blame people because if really things have been working the way they ought to, nobody will be having any kind of insinuations. Nobody will be doubting. Nobody will have a, this a distrust, distrust, uh, trust, you know, concerning uh, what government is doing. Someone say, if you people are sincere, why is the, concluding and or reopening not stated just like what i said the question is when are they going to start work and when are they going to finish so it will start fully or uh, 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 to start a uh, full uh, uh, to start full operation uh, congratulations you know to them let them do the needful it is not just close but for how long what is the scope of work expected to be done and who are the contractors and just like abuja uh, did fan prepare another airport to handle the possible diversions we are watching so why didn't you state how long it will take to finish the repairs take it or not this is to put us in mouth of dangers why is there no time frame
for the repairs and all of that. So, uh, like I said, every action of government, people try to question and look into it thoroughly. And it's really a good question that people are really asking. People have been asking questions. When are they going to start? When are they going to finish? When are we looking up, you know, into when it's going to be done and when everything will be reopened? There's no time frame. They're just saying it's going to be shut down and they're giving reasons why it's going to be shut down. But I think all of those things would have been put into consideration. So, guys, that's just what we have for you. We'd like you to put your own comments. Let's hear from your own end what you think about this uh, closure of uh, Enugu Airport. Thank you very much for always listening. Bye. <laughs>